Hey everybody, it's Sharon Tinsley. I'm back today with Robbie McAlpine from WCRL Radio in Aniana up in Blount County. And we're presenting them with an award for longest running service project. And Robbie, I uh, personally care very deeply for this one with the Blount County Education Foundation because that's where my dad went to high school. He graduated from Aniana. And uh, I came up uh, one year and actually participated and was on the air with your guys. and. Um, so it's a it's a wonderful thing you've been doing for a very long time. Thank you, Sharon. I, I didn't know your dad graduated from Aniana. We're probably graduated in the same class. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, you don't know these things, I, but I didn't know that. And yeah. you're from the Arab area, which is just yeah, I grew up in Arab, but yeah, but he grew up and graduated in Aniana. That's right. So well, we have you know this honor comes with an award. So I believe we have someone in the room to help us present you with your award for longest running service. Yeah, I haven't, project. I haven't, uh, I, you know, got the box in the mail and uh, she just opened it. I'm going to turn and grab. You know, okay. The okay. Award. If I, oh my God, Sherry, you should not have. This is, okay. oh God, I've never been given a cat before. It got their it's award. Huge. Can I name it Sharon with that? I love that. I, I love that. Okay. Oh, you're so cute. And I shall call you Sherry. <laughs> but uh, wait. Oh, God, there's, there's more. There's more. There's more. Oh, Lord. oh my God. Uh, what is, did you, I mean, what Cash are you doing? Cash prize. Cash prize. Well, Look at that. I tell you to give it to I, the I did foundation. Get a box. Oh, I did get yeah, a box. Yeah, there I'm should gonna... be, there should be a little something extra. Don't ever send me a cat, by the way, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe you'll get a lot of cash. Uh, I will yeah. open the box. And this is a big honor. And thank you uh, on behalf of WCRL Radio. Um, thank you. Yay. This is where you can insert the clapping music or just whatever, right? <laughs> exactly. But exactly. anyway, uh, I appreciate it. You know, I, I uh, do very little to... Um, to carry this every year. When I bought the station about 14 years ago, they um, had this in place and um, I've continued it, you know, to let it happen on the station. We basically give Mitchie Neal and, um, and uh, Greg Armstrong and the crew over at the Blount County Education Foundation, the radio station, and they make it happen every day. And uh, we contribute and promote it and stuff like that. But it's really about what they do. Uh, but we're happy to have a venue for them to do it at. And, you know, radio and broadcast is, is a great place for stuff like this. You know, this is what we do best in the broadcast business is serve our communities. And it's a real honor. And thank you for this. Well, why don't you tell everybody, for instance, how much money they raised in that period of time this year? It's it blows well, last, my way. Yeah, last year we had a really good year. You know, we did um, over a million dollars in an eight hour period and donations and um it was uh, the biggest year we've had. I think the year you were there um, a few years ago, it, we had did maybe half a million dollars. So in a, in a couple of years time, you know, just doubling that's a, a, bit, a really big deal. But I think the first year on the radio station, uh, we were hoping to break 100,000 and it had been going like 10 years at that time. So, um, you know, it just keeps getting bigger and better. And that's a credit to the community of Anion and Blunt County and uh, all the people who, who give it. So, um, and Mitchy Neal is probably the, and Greg Armstrong and all those folks that are on the uh, Blunt County Education Foundation uh, board are the best at it. So um, they do a great job, but it, it's, it's really grown. We're hoping to, I mean, if we did a million last year, I mean, and if we could just match that, I mean, at some point you keep thinking you've got to, it's not gonna, you know, but it keeps growing every year. So that goes well, a long way. And just so people know, the foundation uses that money to give grants to teachers so they can do special projects yeah. in their classrooms, get the supplies. You know, we talk about how teachers wind up funding so much in their classrooms out of their own pockets. They can apply to the foundation for grants. And so this goes directly into the classroom. And that's really important. So your station, your team being part of it is, is critical to its success. Yeah, I, I'm happy to help. I wish I could say I did more to uh, to make it happen, but it's really those guys that offer. And yeah, it does go to the classroom to classroom grants and summer grants and summer camps. They do so much with it, and and they stretch it out, and they're real efficient, real efficient organization. I'm honored to be a part of it, and thank you again so much for the award. Thank you. You're doing exactly what we hope broadcasters will in their communities. Thank you, Robbie. All right. Thanks, Sharon.